GameRanks presents the 10 best new free-to-play games of 2016. Everybody likes a free game, especially if it's actually good. Here are the new ones releasing that are worth talking about in 2016. Starting off at number 10, we have Total War Arena. This is a free-to-play team-based strategy game in which players are forced to battle out their massive armies together. It's just a big old multiplayer RTS and it's really good. So far, its beta has been received very well, mostly because the game seems to be a good compromise between being casual and light, while at the same time having much deeper strategy and customization elements. You can control three different units of warriors and the battles are 10v10. There's enough different modes, different styles of strategy and tactics, and armor, weapon, and skill progression to really keep you busy for a while here. It's totally worth keeping an eye on for RTS fans. And at number 9 we have Lawbreakers. This is the first new game from Cliff Blazinski, the creator of Gears of War's new studio Boss Key Games. Lawbreakers is a first person sci-fi shooter, and apparently word on the street it's pretty fun. While it looks, you know, kind of typical like stuff you've seen before, apparently it's just polished, it plays well, and it's just a good fun shooter. We don't have a ton of other information on it, but it's going to be completely free and PC based. And at number 8 we have Dreadnought. This is a strategic space combat game with gigantic ships. Huge, massive ships that you see in sci-fi movies. This combat flight simulator style game is going to be releasing on PC and it's been in the works for a while by Jaeger. It was initially announced in 2014 but it's finally getting released in 2016. I've managed to get my hands on this game at some events and the battles get pretty intense at times. Everyone really needs to kind of play their class and communication is really important. Some people are really going to love to sink their teeth into this one. And at number 7 we have Deep Down. This is a Dark Souls inspired dungeon crawler focusing on 4 player drop in, drop out, go out play. It's very dark, it's very challenging, and I really feel like they're going after the Souls fans here. The difference here is that it's in the setting of like a post apocalyptic New York, 100 years in the future. The setting kind of keeps things a bit more unique. Now one thing to note though, this is a Capcom game through and through, published by Capcom and being developed by Street Fighter's Yoshinori Ono. He's an iconic game director and we have some faith in Deep Down. And at number 6 we have Gigantic. This is a fun MOBA style game with a really cool visual style. Look at this game, it's completely hero based with a bunch of unique quirky characters and you get these massive guardian creatures in the map that you have to protect and fight with. The object of the game is usually to kill the other team's titans. It sounds pretty simple but it can make for some pretty complex and engaging gameplay scenarios. It's pretty cool. The dynamic between small characters and big characters makes this kind of like a different MOBA and it's a little refreshing. And at number 5 we have Blade and Soul. This is a PC action based MMORPG. The game features a combination of martial arts inspired combat and magic in this open world environment that's pretty unique looking. And there's a really big character creation system as well as a really unique weapon upgrade system that allows you to carry one weapon through the whole game but you level it up into your own legendary weapon instead of ditching it for the next highest level thing. It's got some unique aspects to it. It's pretty. There's some interesting gliding and level traversal stuff. And the enemy types and missions are pretty engaging. This game has been huge in Asia for a reason. People are loving Blade and Soul. And at number 4 we have Soccer Manager 2016. This Steam based game is completely free to play and you take your own soccer club and manage them from the ground up. You can monitor and manage your team during actual live games, change tactics and strategies, micromanage your players, and your different leagues and competitions. And the coolest part is that there's cross platform saving. You can save your game and pick up where you left off on another device. That's a pretty unique feature for some of you hardcore football fans. There's single player and multiplayer experiences, a simple and easy to understand interface, and just a bunch of football nerd goodness and the best part is it's free obviously or it wouldn't be on the list and at number three we have paragon oh look another moba Th this one is from epic games though so obviously it's hero based it's a third person shooter with actually pretty cool character designs and maps the characters here look really incredible and the movement seems fun there's all your standard stuff here a bunch of different type of characters support tank assassin ranger caster and more typical moba stuff like that in paragon you can use a card system to upgrade their abilities before going into battle and that kind of gives it a unique spin that it probably honestly needs in such a crowded market 
And at number two, we have Fortnite. We put it on the list because we're really excited about it. Is it ever coming out? It was announced years ago. We don't know, but we're really hoping it releases this year. This game is not a MOBA. It's a co-op sandbox survival game about exploration, scavenging items, building fortified structures, and fighting waves of zombies. It's got a very quirky cartoony style that's very different for this genre of game, but it just looks colorful and fun. I just think it looks like a kind of unique and refreshing take on the survival genre. And that's why it's on the list and why I'm really hoping it releases in 2016. And at number one, we have Unreal Tournament. This new Unreal Tournament isn't going to rewrite the book in terms of how the game plays. The plan is to still have your classic game types, capture the flag, assault, bombing run, deathmatch, stuff like that, but just in a gorgeous new setting. This famous first person shooter game developed by Epic Games is now in a pre-alpha state and the development of the game is actually crowdsourced and open to everyone who's willing to try. The source code and all available tools are posted online for free and hardcore fans with some skills can get directly involved in an Unreal Tournament, and that's kind of awesome. This is the ninth Unreal Tournament game. They're known as fast-paced, brutal, classic-style first-person arena shooters, and it's one of the best. And we're really excited for this one, not to mention the fact that it's being completely developed by the community. With hardcore players, tournaments, streamers, YouTubers, everyone involved, this could be one of the best Unreal Tournaments ever, so that's why it earned the number one spot on our list. We also have a few bonus games, including the excellent World of Tanks finally releasing for PlayStation 4, and the card battler that is totally not Hearthstone, Duelist. So guys, those are some of the best free-to-play games to either be playing right now or look forward to in 2016. There's always going to be more, so we want to know in the comments, what free-to-play games in 2016 are you guys playing or looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. Let's talk about all that stuff. If you had a good time at this video and maybe learned about a game or two, clicking the like button really helps us out. And subscribing if you're new is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.